Hey everybody, this is Debbie from Crystal Dragonfly. It's Sunday, April 3rd, and I wanted to do a video to show you some of the new crystals that I will be offering on my Facebook page and in the online shop. I think uh, some of you know I had posted that I uh, lost a family member very recently, and I couldn't make it back to the East Coast in time to say goodbye. So I spent the last two days um, rearranging my crystal grid, spending time with my my mom and my daughter and you know all of us helping each other through the loss and I wanted to share some of the pieces with you that I was able to use in some of the new grids. I um, I do angel readings I've been feeling uh, for very 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 many years very close to the angelic realm and to my guardian angels so I very frequently put together grids using celestite and angelite and seraphonite but when I looked at the new crystals that I had received from Brazil recently that I had sort of put on the side because of things that were uh, going on and I wasn't um, ready to post them yet, I had realized that some of them have properties that really, really complement my go-to crystals for when I'm putting together a grid to help me um, with that spiritual connection. And one of them is a crystal called Trilliite. I have offered it in the past. I really, really like this crystal. It's made up of mostly quartz and lazulite and scorzolite, which is why you will see they really look different from piece to piece, depending on the composition, how much of one mineral is in there over another. It can have this plum color. It could have this blue color. It could be equal combination or not equal combination. They are really stunning pieces. I went a little crazy and I got a lot of them, which I am very grateful for because it allowed me to add several more to my own collection um, to place around the house and to, to have to use with some of my crystal arrangements. But it is um, a somewhat rare crystal and it's considered mostly a throat chakra crystal, which means it helps with communication. So I thought it would be a really nice compliment to my grids to help me connect and communicate and attract um, my angel guardians. So I also got these pieces and I was able to add them to some grids. They're flat on the bottom. I took four of them, put them around a point in the middle, used some of my other go-to stones for that type of grid and I was really pleased with the results. So the timing was amazing. I hadn't even thought about it when I had ordered these pieces and they came truly at the perfect time. I also have this large, only one of these, uh, trolleyite carved pieces, which is amazing. It has a really good combination of the different minerals that you would want to find in this piece. And I did get about four spheres that I will be able to offer uh, on the Facebook page. One of the other crystals that I received from Brazil is cacoxonite. I only got a few more of these pieces. I don't know if you could see, but they are really, really visually uh, amazing. They have green, they have purple, they have this amber color. It is one of the crystals that is a, a main crystal in Super 7, which is also known as Melody Stone. And it is a major mineral in there. And it's, you know, it's good to help you when um, you're trying to see the good in life, when you're trying to bring good into your life. It It's also a stone that can help you understand why things happen. So for me, this was perfect timing. And another bonus for me, which made me really pleased that I got some of these stones, is it is known as the Stone of Ascension, and it's believed to help um, with connection, spiritual awareness, and to help with the connection to the ethereal realm. So I, for the first time ever, had decided to get some tumbled pieces in Cacoxonite, and I am so thrilled because I was able to add some of these tumbled pieces to my grids, which I do have enough left over that I'll be able to offer some if anyone feels drawn to those pieces in any way. I will have some available. I also got citrine points from Brazil. This is natural citrine, excellent quality. I think I have seven or eight pieces I'll be able to offer. You can see it looks a little bit like smoky quartz. They range in color from a very pale color to a very deep color. This is not heat treated. This is what natural citrine looks like. Pretty much most of what you're going to find out there is heat treated amethyst. That's called citrine. Not necessarily a bad thing and it's a topic for another day, but these are natural pieces and these are stunning. Um, wonderful 
to use it in the center of a grid or a, a crystal arrangement, your sacred space, your personal altar. I Points are important. They're a good piece to have. Everyone should have at least one good point that they can use as a centerpiece or um, to put in their sacred space or altar. So those would be a nice option for you. I do have some large Celestite tumbled pieces. Again, the timing was perfect. I don't get these that frequently and they're really great for adding to your crystal grid. I do like to put crystals in, in bowls and on plates and, and arrange them in different ways, not necessarily in a traditional crystal grid, but I like to have them um, in every room of the house, so I'm always looking for new ways to place them. Um, so they'll be safe and not roll away, and so it's something that's not only aesthetically pleasing, of course, but um, to bring those metaphysical properties to each room that I would like to uh, add to that environment. This is a Celestite Sphere. Pretty big. I have these also on and off. I have a few of these to offer. And I just wanted to place that one there for you to see. Lithium quartz. Again, perfect timing. Lithium quartz is fabulous if you're feeling down, sad, you need something to uplift your spirits. Um, it does have lithium in it. And these are nice, nice size pieces. They sent me some really, really good size. Um, I have some a little bit smaller than this. This is one of the larger, but um, I was very fortunate because I had trays of these displayed uh, in the front of my house under the pyramids, and then they came at a time when I really felt like this would be a good crystal for me to have around to help keep everybody's spirits up. And in the back here, I have one of the fluorite candle holders. This is These are heavy pieces. This is, has some weight to it. They are mostly in greens, but they do have some purples and blues in some of the pieces. Uh, many of them have, I don't know if you can see there, but some rainbows. I think candles are a really important addition to any sacred space, any crystal arrangement, anytime you're relaxing and meditating. Uh, not just because they're pretty or or because of the metaphysical properties, I think the flame and the ritual of lighting the candle, um, I think it really all just adds another layer of energy to whatever you're trying to manifest or to your space. So I always recommend adding either essential oils in some way or another, fragrance, dried flowers, candles, along with your crystals, sacred geometry images. Every time you add another layer, I think you're making uh, what you're trying to manifest that much more reachable. So that's something I always like to, to recommend and talk about. Back here, I have another one of the uh, newer wishing or manifesting pyramids. I do send an info sheet with suggestions on how to use it. I think these are great. They're a nice introduction if you're trying to uh, just introduce somebody to using crystals or to the idea about trying to manifest what it is you want in your life. Um, my daughter has one or two of them. I try to give them to her friends with some crystals. Um, many of them don't really know why I have so many crystals or why they're all over the house. And um, it's a fun way to just sort of say, you know, here's a nice little intro to it. Here's a crystal. And this is the concept behind it. So I really do like uh, the pyramids. I think they're a, a good thing to have. So I just have a few more little things I wanted to show you. One of them is the mini citrine crystal points. These also come from Brazil. They're also not heat treated, they're natural. I usually put them in a small grid or I try and find a copper bowl or a gemstone bowl, some chips. I think it's a really, really nice uh, way to bring some nice crystal energy to maybe a small space. You don't have a lot of room, but you want to add something there. You don't have room for maybe a larger piece or a grid. So I do have several of those. I also have them in lithium quartz, which is also a nice crystal to have. So I will be listing some of those. I did want to show you. These are really uh, exciting pieces to me. These are Lepidolite mica, and you can see they have window mica. This is just one. They're all different shapes. They're all different sizes. They're fascinating to me. The, this formed naturally, these angles, these lines. I mean, I definitely have a huge interest in sacred geometry, and when I see pieces like this, it's just amazing to me, these ruler straight edges, that this is how this piece formed. Uh, Lepidolite mica is also really good for helping to uplift your spirits, helping to get you out of maybe a sad place. So these are really also not only interesting pieces, but they're, they have good metaphysical properties that you might want to bring into your environment. 
One thing I wanted to show you that I haven't had a chance to do so yet is this pendant that Cindy over at CCJ Designs made for me. I just wanted to quickly let let you see it. It's um, a rhodochrosite piece, sort of in the shape of a lingam. I don't know if you can see the detail, but she wire wrapped this for me in silver. And um, at my request, she had added a Herkimer diamond on the top. And she's amazing. She's an artist, and she makes beautiful, beautiful pieces. I've been meaning for the last month to post a picture of it or to do a short video, and I wanted everyone to see um, some of her amazing work. It's become one of my most favorite pieces of jewelry, so I wanted to share that with you. Um, last two things I wanted to show you before we go. This is a rhodochrosite heart that Keith wanted me to have. It's a loving stone, and it's calming, and I've pretty much had it in my hand for the last two days along with some of these natural Apache tears. I don't actually normally sell the uh, Apache tears in the natural state like this. I do have a large collection of my own and I just wanted to mention it because I think if you're going through a period where you're either grieving or mourning or trying to get through something that might be a little difficult, the combination of the rhodochrosite and the Apache tears I have found very helpful for me this week and I wanted to share that with you. If any of you have tumbled rhodochrosite or rhodochrosite in any form or Apache tears, maybe put them in a pouch, carry them with you, put them under your pillow, however you feel you need to use it. Um, I thought it was worth mentioning because they've brought me comfort the last few days, so I wanted to um, put that out there. And the last, last, last is this Australian Kunzite necklace. Uh, they're nuggets. They're not polished, but they're fairly smooth. I'm going to offer these in a drawing. I don't know if I'll be able to get the drawing started today, but keep your eyes open. It will be coming soon. So if you find that uh, appealing, just look for the drawing information and um, it will be there shortly. So I want to thank you all very much. I hope I didn't ramble on too much because I didn't really prepare for this video, but I hope you have a great rest of the weekend. I know it's half over, but I hope you all have a wonderful week, and thank you.